Hello everybody and welcome to Heartbeat. This concept of what I'm going to talk about came to me from um, after listening to a Christian song and it was I was driving in the car and I put on some music and these words these words just spoke to me and I then started having a prayer time in the car and praising God because of um, what this line of the song spoke to me about and the line said this perfection chose to bleed for me perfection God the son of God chose to be broken for me perfection chose to die for an imperfect creation, people, person. Because God would have died for one person, even just one. This perfect God, out of love for us, died for us, sent his son to die for us. And this should bring us a response of great joy. You know the line, the joy of the Lord is my strength. It's the joy that comes from knowing that the Lord is part of my life that brings me the strength. It's the joy of knowing the Lord is present with me that brings me strength. It's the joy of the Lord in my life every day that that just makes me get up in the morning, makes me take the next step sometimes just in my life because life circumstances can be tough. It's the presence of the Lord that does it. This deep set joy, this joy that comes even if you know, the world around us is falling apart because God isn't. He's complete. He's whole. He brings us the fullness of life. In Psalm 16 verse 11, it states this, You show me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. If you want to be joy filled, go be in his presence. Know that he is, you're in his presence every day of every second of every moment if you just reflect upon it, if you just invite him into your life. He'll come. Then also in Psalm 21 verse 6, it states this. You bestow on him blessings forever. You make him glad with the joy of your presence. Him being us. You make me glad with the joy of your presence. It's so joy filled to have you present Lord with me. Wow. I don't have the words. I just have this feeling, this emotion, this joyness. Joyness. Even if it's such a word, I've made it up. Joyness within me. Psalm 71 verse 23 states this. My lips will shout their joy when I sing praises to you. My soul also which you have rescued because you rescued me. My lips will shout for joy. Maybe though you were born into a Christian family. So did you really rescue me? I, would, I was already in your family. No, we're in God's family because of him rescuing us centuries ago. And it's been passed on from generation to generation. We should be joy filled for the generations that have passed it on. Joy filled more though because of what God has done for us. He has rescued us. He has given us life to the full, eternal life forever with him. And then there's a beautiful story, and I think we miss it. We miss it so much, where a little baby, an unborn baby, 
knew the joy of the Lord when the Lord was present. And it's in the Gospel of Luke, starting at chapter 1, verse 38. The angel of Gabriel has come to Mary and told her, you've been chosen to be the mother of the Lord. And she questions him a little bit. How can I? I haven't been with a man. What, you know? And um, the angel says, you know, nothing's impossible to God. Even Elizabeth, your cousin, is with child and she was barren. And Mary says, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And then it says the angel left her. So when she said yes, the Holy Spirit came upon her and straight away she was with child, the son of God within her womb, who is being formed into this human baby. Fully human, fully divine. And then Mary goes and visits her cousin Elizabeth. So it goes on in verse 39. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Because the Son of God was was within Mary's womb, and she came into that house and cried out her greeting to say, Elizabeth, I'm here. Are you home? Or whatever greeting she said. The unborn child, which is John the Baptist, leapt in Elizabeth's womb because he recognized that we were now in the presence of God. Wow. Jesus often tells us, be like a little, go back and be like a little child. Be that innocent child. Because children sense and know and understand more the spirit of God, the presence of God. They haven't got the world in them yet. You know, they're they're not, they're more innocent. They're not as affected. Take your children to God. Put them in his presence. And they will leap for joy because they will just know. But we need to be like this. We need to leap for joy when we're in his presence. Just like John the Baptist did. Because the Holy Spirit reveals it to us, reveals God more to us. And we will just naturally leap for joy because of God's presence in our lives. And we acknowledge his presence because that's what Elizabeth did. My baby leapt for joy, not because it was turning around in the womb as babies do didn't have hiccups, wasn't kicking its legs. It leapt for joy because of the presence of God within Mary's womb. Jesus, the fruit of your womb. How precious is that? So let us remember the joy of being in his presence. That when we go to Mass and we go to the Eucharist, and we receive Jesus or we sit in front of the Blessed Sacrament. We're having a prayer time and we're in the presence of God. We're before him every day. We, he dwells within us. Emmanuel, God is with us. That we have this deep set joy that will bring our life to the full. Will give us the best life ever. A concept hard to understand, but your spirit just knows. Something not just to think about, but to meditate on, upon and for your spirit to talk to God's spirit about. Have a blessed week and we'll see you again next week. <music>